The sacrament of suffering is the product of my doctor of ministry studies at Tennessee Temple University. Now the D-min is a practical degree. And so of course I was a pastor shepherding people through the difficulties and daily struggles of living the life with God in this world. During those studies there happened upon one weekend where on a Saturday morning I led a family through the stillbirth of a child. Later that afternoon, I conducted the marriage, the wedding ceremony of some closely related people. And the next morning, there was a baby dedication planned. That weekend, I stopped and I was nearing the time where I had to declare what I was going to do as a project. And I said, you know what, I want to dig more deeply and hunt for better understanding for myself and more power for ministry and for my own Christian walk on the subject of pain and loss, suffering and the sovereignty and goodness of God. Where is the intersection of these things and how do we live in the world where loss, death, pain is so common to our experience? You know, I began digging, and what I found was that various Christian traditions, from the most ancient traditions right up to more modern expressions of the body of Christ, have various sorts of responses based on their theological premises and their theological assumptions. But all of them have various kinds of roots into the Bible and truth applicable for our life today. So as a consequence of all of this research, I produced the Sacrament of Suffering, which is a six-session grief share program that I'm inviting you to participate in. It's an opportunity for a small group of people to come together, and what I've found is each time I've done this, I've learned as much from the people participating as surely they do from my research and these theological insights. You see, it's not a scholar's group. It's a group of followers of Jesus who come together to bear one another's burdens. It's intended for folks who perhaps are carrying a heavy burden because of the death of a spouse, a loved one, a friend, even a child, or those who are carrying the heavy burden of this thing that is just like death, divorce, loss of a career, loss of mobility. There's a, so many reasons why we might need to seek the Lord for a better and a deeper understanding of where His grace, His love, His care and concern for us intersects at the point of our pain. I love this painting. I purchased this from a particular artist who was trying to capture the feeling of suffering. And he took this image and he i think very well encapsulated the feeling of the crow clinging to the branch in winter as the wind whips around him and the coldness freezes him and and i and i purchased that and i I used the image uh, sort of for the front matter of my research of my research paper and then i took that research paper and everything i had done and i turned it into this six-week grief share program. Through it, people have found increased comfort and understanding and spiritual strength, and we've strengthened one another as we bore one another's burdens, consistent with the biblical message in Galatians 6, 2, as we follow along as pilgrims after Jesus in this world. The pain that we endure is often too much to bear on our own. Jesus tells us to come to him All who labor and are heavy laden, and he will give us rest. And I have found that in the company of Christian community, God often offers that rest by way of encouragement from one another. So, I'll be announcing soon dates for the next session, and I hope you'll join us here at First Congregational Church of Naples, where we are bringing the truth of God into the realities of of daily life, the hope and comfort of Christ by way of the love given to us, even so much as God takes up residence in our hearts by way of the Holy Spirit. And we share with one another and care for one another. And by this love, the world knows that we are followers of Jesus. So pay attention for the upcoming dates. And uh, I'm looking forward to taking a sacramental journey with you through the suffering and the sovereignty through the pain 
and the pleasure through the hope and the presence of our Lord. God bless you. Amen.